So the painter is mixing two jars of paint to create a new color, um, and he has uh, two different displays uh, that he's choosing random jars of paint from, uh, and he's going to make his new color. So we have display, whoops, got to have the pen on. Uh, he has display one and display two. Two, two. So um, his chance, so he has uh, red paint and blue paint in each display. So in display number one, there's two red and two blue. So the chance of getting um, one red from uh, the first display is two out of four because there's four cans of paint, two of them are red. It's also two out of four to get a blue one. Conversely, over in the second display, there are three red and five total. So your chance of getting a red is three out of five and your chance of getting a blue is two out of five. And he wants to make some purple paint. So he needs one red and one blue to make this purple paint. However, we don't know whether he gets the red one from number one and the blue from number two, or the blue from number one and the red from number two. So we need to figure out those two different probabilities. So if he gets um, the red from the first one and the blue from the second one, that's going to be one set of probabilities, whereas blue from the first and red from the second will be a second. And we will add those two probabilities together to come up with a total probability of getting purple. So we already established red is two out of four from the first one, and blue from the second one is two out of five. Blue from the first one is two out of four, and red from the second one is three out of five. We multiply these together, this is really the same thing as one half times two fifths. And if you have two fifths and you need one half of it, that's just one fifth. Two fourths is the same as one half, we got that before. Um, multiplied times three fifths gives us three tenths. One fifth expressed in terms of tenths is two tenths. We are adding that to three tenths. Those two things added together, two tenths and three tenths equals five tenths, which is the same thing as one half. And one half is answer choice B.